The first few days of orientation, I didn't know what I was getting into. And even right now, I still don't. I think the biggest challenge first year counselors will make is, is a work-life balance um, and making sure that they're looking after themselves. Potentially sacrificing social time to make sure they're sleeping enough, they're eating properly, they're waking up and having a good attitude throughout the day. It's okay to ask for help and utilising your resources, so your tribal leader, your co-counselor, your directors. I didn't expect to enjoy it nearly as much as I actually did. Homesickness, I'd say, was one of the most difficult aspects of being in the cabin. Having to talk to the same kid about not doing something or doing something that he shouldn't be doing multiple times within a very close time frame and learning the patience and how to deal with that. Another challenge I'd say was definitely keeping up with these guys because they're 8, 9, 10 and they have seemingly limitless reserves of energy and when you've been here for 8 weeks it starts to, you start to feel like, oh my gosh, how am I going to catch up? There are definitely days you're exhausted, you're, you're dying, you need to ask people for help and there are days where you're like, dude, I, I got this, let me go help out. I definitely found myself running out of energy certain days. Just kind of pushing through and getting into the second part of the day ended up being like, okay, I know I got to do this. I know I got to match their energy or at least be consistent with it. When I see a kid just being super enthusiastic about something, I love to see that. Everybody loves to see somebody being super excited about the smallest things. You see these guys running up the hill ready to play tennis and like something just clicks and you're just ready for another day. As long as the kids were excited for an activity, I would feel like I would have to match them. We love when the kids have fun, but the kids also love seeing us have fun. I think really just kind of putting yourself in their shoes and realizing what would I be doing if I was nine years old and <laughs> realizing that they're not doing any some of the stuff on purpose, but it's just they're nine-year-old boys, they're here to have fun. What I really wasn't expecting is the level at which you kind of bond with these boys. Uh, because when you're living with them for three, two, three, four weeks, you really just they really start to like become like a, that little brother to you. They kind of bring the energy with them, and so you just kind of gotta be like, wow. This kid has just asked me 10 questions about like why this tree is put right here at camp and I have no answer for him, but I'm gonna act like I know what's going on and like give him an answer and you realize like you're kind of this kid's like answer for everything. I feel like problem resolution is definitely a really big asset that I've gained. It's kind of on a different level when you are the main person that somebody's going to you and saying like, I have this problem that needs to be solved and they're looking to you as the authority figure. Throughout the year, I will usually get super caught up in, okay, I have this test to do, and after this test, I want to apply for this job. I want to go on this trip, and I want to pay for this, and I want to just move. But I feel like coming to camp has really helped me in just enjoying the moment and just being patient, not even with the kids, but just patient with life. I feel like just being able to work with uh, all different kinds of people. They have a counselor out here for really every camper. It is amazing just to see how not only the kids grow, but how you grow as well. The reward is just immense when you see like a kid progress from nothing to something. I think if you want something different, or you want something special, meaningful, if you want to make connections, if you want to make friends, I think if you want something out of life, you should come to Fallen Creek and be a counselor.